Andy Bashir has 673,948 votes. That ties to what the ribbon from CNN says. Same thing with Matt Bevin, 662,235. So 662, now, let me take you through, and, and real quick, I'm going to run it again. You're going to see, if you're watching just this gold, you're going to see a flash update and then this guy's face fills the page. And then I'm going to show you what you really missed. So here we go. Watch the gold. The update's coming. Boom, there it updates. And now here's this guy. Now let me show you what you missed. We're going to drag this back frame by frame. And so here we are before the update. And now I'm going to start walking you forward. Watch the gold. Here comes the update from Clarity. Boom. There it is. So now the update, Matt Bashir, uh, excuse me, Andy Bashir has 674,508 votes. And look down below, Andy Bashir had 673,948. They haven't had a chance to update the ribbon because this is in split seconds we're looking now. So Andy Bashir has just gained 560 votes. That makes sense. That's what happens as more votes come in, right? Let's look at Matt Bevan. He now has 661, 675. But look down below. He did have 662, 235. At the exact same second that Andy Bashir has gone up 560 votes, Matt Bevan has gone down 560 votes. This is vote switching in the computer. And by the way, between the 560 gain and 560 loss, you have just seen 25% of the loss amount of this race happen in front of your very eyes.